the training and support I got from Blind Veterans UK was, was absolutely fantastic. Through my training and rehabilitation process, there were several milestones uh, as we went along. The very first one was being given a talking watch. Now, all of a sudden, you can do one thing yourself. You don't have to ask somebody else, even what time of day it is. And absolutely fantastic. One of the, uh, the better ones was making a cup of tea for the first time. And that was a huge milestone. For me, I was sat, uh, sat there with a mug of tea in my hand, grinning like a Cheshire cat. And my rehab officer, my Rovi, came in and said, oh, you look happy with yourself? I said, yeah, I've made a cup of tea. But I've made a cup of tea because I fancy a cup of tea. Not because I'm being taught. I've got to prove to someone else I can do it. And that was a massive, massive achievement at the time. And I swear I never drank a drop of it. I just sat and stared at it, grinning. The third milestone was actually going out for the first time on my own, totally blind, with nothing between me and the world but the white cane. And uh, we trained on the route on how to find my way to Rotting Dean, a village about a mile up the road. So I thought, right, I'll go and get my hair cut. Uh, off I went, followed my, uh, followed my route. Now, I had no idea where I was going. I'd never done it before. Uh, fell in the florist. <laughs> and she kindly showed me where the, the place was. Got my hair cut and then followed all my landmarks back. All the way back here. Got back to the centre and just sat and absolutely cried. The outpouring of emotion was fantastic. The training and support and help I got from the charity was absolutely critical in enabling me to learn to, uh, to go out and live independently on my own. Blind Veterans UK relies on donations and support from people like you to not just support me, but also the next generation of guys coming in that are going to need help for the rest of their lives.